Today I'm in Birmingham to attend a fantasy convention and I only have one goal, to ask as many fantasy authors as possible what they think of the Rings of Power TV show. What did you think about the Rings of Power show? <laughs> Do you want me to answer this seriously? <laughs> so, Philip, did you like the Rings of Power show? <laughs> yes, we know that this show has become incredibly popular to hate on. I mean, this show has a budget of like a billion dollars and managed to get an audio score of 38%. I mean, that is pretty bad. I thought it would be super interesting to hear what other people that work full time writing fantasy stories, what they thought about the Rings of Power show. So without further ado, let's get into it. I am here with Rob J. Hayes, the author of a bunch of books. 20, and my only 20 books. And my only question is, what did you think about the Rings of Power show? Do you, do you want me to answer this seriously? <laughs> okay, it's an absolute f***ing mess. Uh, I have rarely watched a show where the main character, Gladwell, makes uh, so many stupid f***ing choices. It's ridiculous. Like, I mean, it's a very pretty show, don't get me wrong. It is gorgeous, and it's nice to see that they're doing something newish with Lord of the Rings. But, dear God, can everybody just stop being such an idiot all the time? Please. Are you watching season two? I will be when it comes out, yes. I, to be honest, it's one of those shows me and my missus love to watch it and take the piss out of it. Uh, funnily enough, the same as we're doing with Wheel of Time. <laughs> I'm here with Michael R. Miller, author of a bunch of, bunch of books. As, <laughs> bunch, <laughs> bunch of books like Ascendant. Like um, Ascendant, yeah. Like yes. it, the Dragon's Blade and Songs of Chaos. Yeah. Excellent. So my only question to you is, yeah. what did you think about the Rings of Power show? <laughs> Hot mess. Hot mess. Didn't like it. I gave it to, I gave it three episodes. I tried to be fair, but man, no. Like, you don't find Sauron in the ocean, off a raft. What was she? Was she going to swim to shore? <laughs> even the even the beginning thing about how the you know why does the rocks sink and the boat float? The boat looks at the stars. The boat doesn't have eyes. The metaphor doesn't work. I don't really understand. Why are the elves bullying each other in Valinor? Elves aren't supposed to bully each other in Valinor. I don't. I, Man, I don't know. Not the whole thing. <laughs> You're not a fan. <laughs> no, no. It was a complete... I don't know. You think, okay, a billion dollars they spent, and they made such a fuss about a billion dollars. Did any of it hit the writing department, I wonder, you know? Like, so, like, when people, you know, I appreciate if people enjoyed it, but I think when you tout a billion dollar show, you get scrutiny at the same level, you know? Like, it should have been killer. It wasn't for me. When season two comes out, are you going to continue? Hell no. <laughs> Couldn't pay me. No redemption. Uh, yeah. House the Dragon, though, that was quite good. Enjoyed that. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure. <laughs> I'm here with Ryan Cahill, the author of The Bound and Broken, one of my favorite series. Oh. So, Ryan, just one question. I'm so worried about this question. <laughs> okay. Did you like The Rings of Power? Uh, okay, so how long do we have to this question? I didn't think it was that bad until the ending turned out to be true. And then the whole thing was a dumpster fire. But I didn't really mind it until then. I was kind of happy to just see the world again. Yeah. And then I was like, no, you didn't do that. And that's how I felt. Yeah. Are you going to watch season two? No. No, the, the, the ending for me, it's so bad that I don't want to watch it. And it's not because I don't, I love Galadriel, I love the characters. Um, but no, I don't think so. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> So I am here with Shauna Lawless, the author of the Gale Song series. Yep. So Shauna, my only question is, what did you think about the Rings of Power TV show? Oh, okay. So I watched the first two episodes. And, Same. Uh, yeah, and I just I got a little bit bored. Um, but I, do you know, I am going to try. I'm going to give it another go. I think maybe when the next series um, is released, I'll give it another go. Yeah. It came at a bad time because I was very busy with other things, and um, when it comes to TV, things need to um, hook me. Yeah. So I did like the Wheel of Time series. Um, I really enjoyed that, um, and I have enjoyed The Witcher. But but Rings of Power just didn't quite grab me. Yeah. That's interesting. That was my exact same experience. I watched the first two episodes, got bored, and I'm going to be continuing when the season two comes out, but interesting. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> I'm here with Philip C. Quaintrell, the author of The Echo Saga and a bunch of other books. So, Philip, did you like The Rings of Power show? Oh, <laughs> Did I like The Rings of Power show? I, so I actually did enjoy it. I, I really liked it. I think I loved just going back to Middle Earth. It was someone else's vision of it, but it was still Middle Earth, which 
is the world that let me fall in love with fantasy, so I definitely enjoyed getting back into that. There were a few plot holes that I think could have been filled. The pacing might have been a bit better, but you can say that about everything. Um, on the whole, yeah, I actually enjoyed it. I would, I will happily watch season two. I'm so glad I found an author that actually liked it because <laughs> you're, you're, the <laughs> you're the only one that has been like already positive. So that's good. It's definitely a beautiful show. So are you going to watch yeah. season two? I absolutely will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love all that sort of stuff. There's not enough fantasy on TV and cinema, in my opinion. So I will consume as much as I can. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. So I'm here with David Ragg, the author of... Uh, the Hunters and the Blackhawks, the Righteous. Did you enjoy the Rings of Power show? Oh, man. <laughs> there were aspects of it that gave me pleasure. I enjoyed the homage that they paid, played to the original Peter Jackson films. I liked seeing the world again. I loved the landscape. I loved, like, even down to the reusing the font and the score and just the general feeling of being back in that world. Um, that was that was hugely enjoyable. And there were a couple of uh, the Elrond and the, oh, I've forgotten the name of the dwarf now, but their relationship, like that, mostly. I would say there were elements of the writing, and this is rich coming from me, that prioritize surprise twists over any form of sense whatsoever. They seem to be very keen to throw as many gotcha moments into the narrative as they possibly could without ever really bothering to explain why any of it would matter or how any of it would work. And it did remind me in that way of the film Wild Things, which was made in the late 90s and was a classic example of people trying to write a twisty turny noir without bothering to set any of it up. It relied on saying, ah, yes, but you see, the villain, the character, the mastermind, was very, very clever and foresaw everything that would happen and worked out the perfect plan to then fit all the circumstances. I got that same feeling with Rings of Power. Like, ah, yes, the villain knew that you would be floating in the sea and so elected to, yeah, and it just staggering coincidence and needless complication for a great big reveal moment which just didn't really add anything. So are you going to watch season two? Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I mean, I, I must hate myself on some level, but um, there's something about bathing and the nostalgia of it, but I, you think about the money they spent on the program and what they could have made instead. And also the weird cheapness of all the costumes. Um, yeah. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration to read more books. Now, if you want to support me in any way, then you can check out my Patreon. I have different tiers and you will get different benefits depending on what tier you support. Some of the benefits include getting your name in my videos, earning rights on my next feed, getting a special role on my Discord server, getting access to one Patreon exclusive video a month, or even art cards and bookmarks signed by my wife and me. Most of the money goes to hiring an editor to do a couple of videos for me a month, which basically allows me to post high quality content more frequently. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and God bless.